Hello everyone! In this video I'll follow the development of 12 hydroponic baby lettuce seedlings to see how they grew and ultimately matured in varying lighting conditions. The seedlings all started out the same way, planted in rock wool. Then some of them got thinned out and moved onto clay pebbles and some others got rehomed into hydroponic Kratky systems. This is a classic nature versus nurture story. All the seedlings started out the same, but over time were subjected to different environments, as you will see. A while back I posted a video showing how to start seeds in rock wool. These are those seedlings. The seeds all came from the same mother packet of black seeded Simpson seeds, and they were all born or germinated in similar conditions in a rock wool womb. Here you can see the 12 rockwell cubes have been saturated with water and are being planted with the seeds. This container used to have cookies in it and the 12 rockwell cubes fit perfectly in here. I closed the cover to give the seeds a nice humid environment to germinate in and then I set the container on a shelf near my other hydroponic plants. It's day 5 and it looks like most of the seeds have germinated, so I moved the container of seedlings under a grow light. They are sitting on a box to get closer to the light and this is where they stayed for the next week or so. Here it is day 10 and it's pretty obvious that more than one seed has germinated in each cube, so they will need to be thinned out at some point. The seeds I planted in the two cubes in the center have germinated, but they are growing at a much slower rate than the ones around them. I'm not sure why. It is curious to see the seeds germinating at different rates, with the seeds in the lower right hand corner growing the fastest. Every day I add water to the container. Up until this point I've been using just regular water, but now I'm going to introduce hydroponic nutrients into the water to give the growing seedlings some extra nutrition. It's two weeks since I planted these seeds and it's time to thin them out. So rather than throw out the thin plants, I decided to give them a chance at life. Here I have some hydroponic clay pebbles that have been soaking in water. Now I'm using a pair of tweezers to gently pull out the extra seedlings and then lay them out on the clay pebbles. The water in this container with the clay pebbles is up to just about the top of the clay pebbles so that the roots of these seedlings should be able to find their way down into the water. When I was done thinning out the seedlings, the Rockwell cubes were left with just one seedling per cube. And the container of clay pebbles has about eight or nine seedlings that were thinned out. These would normally get discarded. Let's see if they make it. Right now they're just laying around. After thinning the plants, both containers went back under the grow light. Here it's the next day and it looks like the thinned out lettuce seedlings are going to survive after all. And here are the seedlings that remained in the rock wool. They're doing fine as well. The seedlings that are laying on the clay pebbles and the ones in rock wool both need some nutrients and also need to stay hydrated. So I mixed up some Grow Big Hydroponic Formula from Fox Farms. It's easy to use. I just fill up a gallon container with filtered water from my reverse osmosis system and then I add two teaspoons of the Grow Big solution and shake and that's it. Here it's another week later and you can see the lettuce seedlings that I thinned out are not only surviving but it looks like they're thriving and the ones I left in the rock wool are also doing fine. Now it's a couple of days later and let's have a side by side comparison of the seedlings. They're both doing great, the ones on the clay pebbles and the ones that remained in the rock wool. Let's have a closer look at the seedlings that remained in the rock wool. They have a nice amount of leaves and they even have roots growing from the bottom of the cubes. A closer look at the seedlings that were thinned out also shows nice leaf and root growth. And now it's a few days later. There are 10 Rockwell cubes growing nicely. The two in the middle did not start out strong. They never looked as good as the other seedlings and eventually they died. The thinned out seedlings on the clay pebbles are no longer just hanging around. They have taken to their new environment and seem to be putting out strong roots. At this point I decided to move five of the Rockwell cubes into hydroponic crack key systems, although technically they've been growing hydroponically this whole time. Here I have five containers ready. These are Folgers coffee containers that have been covered with aluminum foil to keep the light out. And I use three inch neck cups that fit perfectly into the mouth. I mixed up another batch of the Grow Big hydroponic solution and filled the containers up to just where the bottom of the net cup is. Then the Rockwell cube goes into the net cup and I fill the space around the Rockwell with clay pebbles. I did this for five of the Rockwell cubes and here you can see the five containers lined up under a fluorescent light. Now it's a week later and here are the seedlings that I thinned out. 
and are growing on the clay pebbles. They look like baby lettuce now, and their leaves are probably nice and tender, but I'm going to let them keep growing to see how far they will develop in this setup. Here are the lettuce seedlings that I moved into the five Folgers containers. These three I left under the fluorescent light near a south facing window, and two I moved under a Mars Hydro LED light, which is a much better light for the plants. It's winter now, and the days have been gray with little sunlight. So this location under the fluorescent light is really not giving the plants enough light. In the spring, and summer especially, the light comes in nice and strong from the window, but now it's a very weak light. So now I have the lettuce seedlings that all started out the same way, growing in different containers and with different lights. And guess what? They all look different. I have four scenarios here. Let's start with the container all the way on the left. Those are the eight or nine seedlings that I pulled out when I was thinning out the lettuce. Remember how I laid them out on the clay pebbles? Well, they have filled out nicely and would be a great addition to any salad bowl as baby lettuce. Now we have an even greener and fuller batch of baby lettuce. These are the Rockwell cubes and they are still in the original cookie container that I used when I first planted the seeds and they are definitely ready for the salad bowl. Next I have two Rockwell cubes that I transplanted into Folgers containers and then moved under the LED light and they look good as well. Let's take a look at the roots just because I like to look at them. And then last and least, these are the three sad looking plants on the right. They stayed under the inadequate lighting of the fluorescent light. And although in the spring and summer, the window supplements the light with plenty of sunshine, it's now the dead of winter and the light coming through the window is just not enough. You can see the roots on these sad looking plants, nothing like their sister's roots. Another week has gone by and let's have one more look at these plants. But I think it's pretty clear that although these plants started out the same, they all went through different life experiences and some fared better than others. The lettuce that didn't have enough light grew tall and lanky, stretching to look around for a better light. And of course the lettuce in the same setup, but with better light, grew short and strong with nice big green leaves. No surprise there. What did surprise me was the lettuce that stayed in the original cookie container. I never rehomed these, and they grew almost as nicely as the ones I transplanted into cracky containers. They are a bit greener, I'm not sure why, but they are definitely healthy looking plants. And last we have the thin seedlings that were rescued, and they look good, but not as good as the ones that stayed in the Rockwell. I had fun comparing the different ways the lettuce grew, and I'm still surprised about the lettuce that stayed in the original cookie container. Maybe I can grow lettuce that way, or maybe I can just grow the lettuce on hydroponic clay pebbles and skip the cracky setup. One thing is for sure that the effect of light on the growth of the plants is super important, as you can see. And now I'm going to go make a salad. Bye!